Camden County this morning, the community will honor the 29 people killed in the Thiokol explosion in Woodbine. It happened 50 years ago today. 50 others were injured, making it one of the worst industrial disasters in U.S. history. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live. And Ashley, there's a special memorial planned for this morning. It is Bruce and Melanie. Good morning to you both. Yes, such a solemn day again. And for the families of those who died 50 years ago today, the pain of that tragedy still very much linger lingers, and they want people to remember these victims. These are their faces. More than two dozen lives gone in an instant. February 3rd, 1971 is a day Emma Gibbs will never forget. The lights went out. And all of a sudden we hear a boom. Some of the people were knocked off the stool. And the first thing I said, there must be 132. Building 132, where most of the explosives were stored, had been leveled by the blast. Gibbs remembers going to the hospital looking for loved ones. When I step up on the porch, Annie Mae Hutchins was the first one I seen. She had already got killed, and they had them laid out on the back porch. At that time, I still didn't know where my sister was. So I was walking through the hospital, and the door opened, and when I looked in there, I saw she was in the uh, room in there. Gibbs' sister was all right, but in addition to the dead, 50 people were injured. Janie Everett was nearby and also felt the explosion. Her mother survived the disaster. Everett now runs the Thiokol Memorial Project and is working to get a memorial made at the Vietnam War Education Center in Washington. The, the long-term impacts, we still have workers that are still suffering today from their injuries. Um, some of them never were compensated. But the long-term impact and what we gained as a country, the 911 system, um, mass tarp litigation, um, OSHA, you know, how you operate the oc occupational safety measures that's taken uh, prote to protect the workers. She's also working to get the 29 victims nominated for the Presidential Freedom Award. Today, their lives are being remembered in a special ceremony. And then that image you saw earlier showing the 29 victims, there were actually 30 faces in that image. And the reason for that is a man who was killed in a separate explosion a couple, couple years later is being remembered in that ceremony today. It starts at 10 o'clock, so in just about two hours at Camden County High School. Live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.